so you can uh, create this effect by using this uh, shape this is my punjabi alphabet i have used and i have scanned it and opened in the photoshop that you can see and uh, uh, make a new layer and choose your pen tool to create a digital shape of this punjabi alphabet so make it zoom so that uh, you can create pen tool in a better way okay this is my pen tool and you can create the shape so sometime it takes time and it uh, it takes very hard practice to make this shape using pen tool so i'm using alt uh, to delete the last anchor point okay this is fine Okay, now right click on there, make selection, and uh, fill this selection with any color. You can fill this selection with any color. Okay, mm, now this is the color I want. Okay, now we got the desired shape. Now this is my wooden texture. You can use this uh, this texture to this uh, for this shape. I want to crop I want to crop this uh, wooden texture so that I can maintain the uh, maintain the wooden texture as per the shape as I want Okay Now this is the desired shape and it should be very close to your shape the size of this wooden texture a uh, little bit of this shape i want bigger in size okay this is fine and we have these layers you can see okay adjust the size of this wooden texture this is layer 5 layer 4 background and layer 3 now i will use this uh, liquify tool to maintain the texture as per my shape Okay, this is very nice tool. You can create very dramatic result using this liquify tool. Okay, this is fine. This is my advanced options. In advanced option, you will get this backdrop and uh, select the layer of uh, the reference shape. Okay, this is my reference shape. And I will maintain that texture as per my reference shape. Uh, I want the texture. Now you can, you can shift the edges, you can shift the image or uh, as per my shape of this okay this is fine this is very nice i'm maintaining the shape as per the reference shape uh, also keep in mind that i want to maintain the lines of these wooden texture this is very necessary because if you don't maintain this uh, this shape this uh, texture shape then you will not get very fine result as per my this punjabi alphabet this is very mandatory step it's really very cool awesome tool in the photoshop even this tool can be used for cloning uh, to make uh, face thin or make larger the things okay this is fine now i'm i'm maintaining the shape as per my reference shape of this black shape okay i think i got the desired shape and uh, using this tool uh, you can expand or contract the shape now i am expanding this shape um, around the okay um, now you can contract the shape from here these are very nice tools okay i can maintain the shape this is fine Okay, 
this is fine now click on ok then you will get this shape as per reference shape now this is my layer right click on there and I want to clip this shape as per my reference shape now make a new layer and uh, now this time I want to make dodge burn by using this fill 50% gray and uh, I want to clip this shape as per my reference shape and set its blending mode to overlay so this is my uh, best technique for dodging and burning and I will use this uh, okay this is my burn tool and I want to burn the shape okay uh, suppose the light is coming from the upside of this shape and uh, the shadow will be in the in the bottom part of the shape so I'm dodging this shape okay this is fine and uh, for the dodge layer I will dodge it from the top so okay this is fine and uh, it it takes very hard practice to make the doge in a very best way okay now it now you can see that uh, I'm I'm getting 3d shape I'm getting this dimension of the shape rather than a flat image okay uh, little bit of burning I want so in this way you can create doging and burning 